players are in a literal league of their own in this game we call selfies. Spread players out at a safe distance from each other. Everyone gets a ball and a glove. Whether you're playing softball or baseball, the game is the same. Here's how it looks. On your call, players throw the ball to themselves and practice catching it. You're gonna throw the ball into your glove, working on hand-eye coordination. First, they toss it directly into their glove, like this. Then, they throw it into the air in front of them, but not above their heads. They should catch it with their gloves facing the sky, like this. Good job. Oh, no, just right in front of you. Let it fall into your glove. Watch it go in your glove. Finally, they throw a pop-up and catch it, making sure to turn their hand in the proper direction as they track the ball into their glove, like that. Challenge them to catch as many balls in a row as they can without dropping one. Then, see if they can beat their streak next time. Good job, good job. Remember the golden rule of selfies. If you toss it, it will fall. So remind newbies to protect their noses. Encourage them to keep their glove in front of their face. That's the best way to catch the ball and protect themselves if they miss. One, two, three, go, go! Kids will love gobbling up grounders in this game we call alligator traps. Line up your team and stand 10 feet away. The first player in line gets into a set stance with knees bent and hips low. Whether you're playing softball or baseball, the game is the same. Here's how it looks. Roll a ground ball to the first fielder. When the ball arrives, they must properly receive it with both hands, like an alligator eating its dinner, before throwing it back to you. Good job! Roll three grounders to every player before they move to the back of the line. Ask players to keep track of how many grounders they successfully field each turn, then challenge them to catch even more next time. Remember, the better they can see the ball, the less likely it is to scoot past them. So remind them to keep their eyes on the ball all the way into their glove, just like that. Everybody in, everybody in. Hey, good job. One, two, three, Mojo! Players develop hand-eye coordination skills in this game we call Up Top, Down Low. Divide players into pairs spaced about 10 feet apart and give each pair a ball. Whether you're playing softball or baseball, the game is the same. Be ready to catch, be ready to catch. Here's how it looks. Ready, go. On your call, players begin throwing underhanded pop-ups to their partners, who must catch them with their gloves in a high five position. After each player gets 10 turns, pairs begin throwing low balls to their partners, who must catch it with their gloves turned in a low five position. Good, good job, good eye. Encourage players to remember the total number of catches they make, then challenge them to beat their score in the next round. If you've ever wondered how major leaguers make catching fly balls look so easy, it's because of games like this. Practice enough and soon every pop-up will be a can of corn. Batters turn ground balls and pop-ups into line drives in this game we call Tea Time. Divide the group into pairs lined up outside the batting cage. Within each pair, name a hitter and a feeder. The first team steps up to the tee in the cage with their helmets on. Whether you're playing softball or baseball, the game is the same. After the feeder places a ball on the tee and steps away, the hitter takes a controlled level swing hitting a line drive right through the box. Atta boy. After each swing, the feeder places another ball on the tee, always making sure to stay a safe distance away when the hitter is up to bat. Boom, I'll take that. Anything on the ground, on the line. When the bucket is empty, both players retrieve all the balls before switching positions. More experienced players might ask why they're not facing live pitching. Remind them that even major leaguers make time for some tee work. Work on your balance, on your finish. Right there. It's the best way to refine their swing without the pressure of pitch recognition and selection. They can focus on proper form and swing away. That a boy, nice swing right there. Very nice, good finish. Players learn to read and field grounders in this game we call Lazy Catch. Divide your team into groups of five. You grab a ball and stand 15 feet away from the first player in line. 
Whether you're playing softball or baseball, this game is the same. Here's how it looks. All five players get down on both knees without resting on their heels. They place the fingertips of their gloves on the ground as you roll a grounder to them one at a time. Once they field it, players must throw the ball back to you, all without standing up or fully sitting down. Work your way down the line, then make your way back, this time rolling backhanded grounders. You want to see it go into the glove? Close and lift, all right? Here we go, this is what it's called a backhand. Give players a point every time they cleanly field the ball. Then challenge them to beat their score in the next round. Some players may copy their favorite pros and field grounders with one hand. Remind them that the only way to make it to the show is by using both hands and snapping down on the ball like an alligator for four-handed catches and scooping the ball on plays to their backhand. Like that. Great job, Bojo! Players alternate catching barehanded grounders and pop-ups in this game we call Grab Bag. Place two cones 10 feet apart in the outfield, then divide the team in half and line up each group behind a cone. You stand about 15 feet in front of and between the two cones with a bucket of practice balls. If you have help, you can send one coach to each line with their own bucket. Whether you're playing softball or baseball, the game is the same. All right, here we go. The first players in each line step up and get into ready position. Ready! You ready? Go. Let's do this. You start sending grounders to one and pop-ups to the other. The players field each throw using the correct technique. They then throw the ball back to you and move to the end of the other line. All right, you're going to switch it up. We do either a ground ball or a fly ball. In the second round, throw a mix of pop-ups and grounders to each line so the players stay on their toes. Always stay in your ready position because you never know if it's a pop-up grounder. Always strong, ready, right here. Give players a point every time they cleanly field the ball. Then challenge them to beat their score in the next round. Because the balls are made of foam, players will be tempted to catch them with one hand. Reinforce that they should always use both hands while fielding grounders and fly balls. In the actual game, that's the best way to stay on the field and off the blooper reel. One, two, three, Mojo! Players race their way around the diamond in this game we call Base Path Relay. This group over here, you're going to second base, all right? This group here, you're staying here. Divide players into two equal teams, then divide each team in half. One group from each team lines up at home base. The others line up at second. Whether you're playing softball or baseball, the game is the same. Here's how it looks. Ready, go! On your call, the first two players lined up at home start running to second. One by way of first base and another by way of third. When they reach their destination, the runners high five the teammate waiting for them who takes off in the opposite direction, sprinting to tag the next teammate in line at home. Go, 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 wait till you tag your hand, go, go. The first team to complete all its legs of the relay wins the race. You got a good, good encouragement. Remember, there's a difference between being fast and quick. Some players are born fast, but anyone can learn to be quick if they round the bags correctly, keeping their heads down, arms pumping, and foot on the corner of the bag. Let's go! Get that ball off my yard. This is Cleanup Crew. Use cones to create two adjoining rectangles, one zone in the infield dirt and the other in the outfield grass. Then place an equal number of practice balls in each. Finally, divide your group in half with one team assigned to each zone. Here's how it looks. Ready, set, go! On your call, both teams try to clear all the balls out of their area. The only way to do that is to throw them overhanded into the other team's area. Three, After a minute, call time. One, freeze! Freeze, freeze, freeze! Drop the Whichever team has fewer balls in their area is the winner. 15, 19, you guys won! Young players especially will love the chaos that Cleanup Crew creates, but it's actually a low-pressure way for them to get comfortable throwing overhand. Don't worry about using proper form just yet, just as long as the ball makes it to the other side. One, two, three! Beginners get comfortable on the field in this low-stakes, high-fun scrimmage that we call Blast Ball. 
Divide your team in half, with one group up at bat and the other in the field, without gloves. You'll pitch for both teams, but instead of a metal bat, you'll use a plastic one. And instead of a softball or baseball, you'll use a practice ball. Here's how it looks. The two groups scrimmage, like any softball or baseball game, with a few changes. First, no strikeouts. Let each hitter keep swinging until they make contact. Second, an inning ends only when every hitter has had a chance to bat. And lastly, if a ball lands in the outfield grass, it's a home run. Run, 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 how far are you gonna run? Whichever team has the most runs after three innings is named Blast Ball World Champions. Newbies will love the chance to compete, and the larger ball helps them feel safe while familiarizing themselves with the rules of the game. Blast Ball may look a little different than a typical day at the ballpark, but make no mistake, crossing home is just as sweet. The play is always to the mound in this game we call Pitcher's Poison. Divide the group into two teams. Send one team to the field and one to bat. You stand at the mound with a ball, ready to pitch. Here's how it looks. Teams play a normal baseball or softball scrimmage, with a twist. All the defense needs to do to get an out is throw the ball back to the pitcher before the runner gets on base. Gotcha! Play a normal game to a set number of innings. Then, mix up the teams and play again. This is a great way to get beginners comfortable playing the field. They won't have to worry about defensive scenarios and can focus on fielding the ball and getting it back to you. For more advanced players, it's a back-to-basics game that puts all the focus on hitting and having fun. One, two, three, let's go!